What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Clockwork Empires. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and build some lacquer planks because I had promised to build a church and unfortunately I have not come through with that promise just yet because the lacquer planks are actually taking far longer to finish than I thought they would. I thought they would just mash those out very, very quickly, but apparently my people lack the lack of the skills required in order to make that happen. So that being what it is, ah well. You know, you can get set about it or you can get busy living, get busy dying, all that fun stuff, Shawshank Redemption and so on and so forth. He's bringing back a little bit of stone right there, sounds good. How is his mind doing, by the way? So this is down to like the third part. I mean, we can actually go back and we can try to schedule this to just dig deeper if we want to. I mean, it's a thing that can be done. Let's see, mixed mining. Although this one right here, I think the depth of 50, yeah, we needed a dewatering pump. That's why I didn't take that one down to a lower level. I, I recalled, I was trying to think about it, and I was like, I'm pretty sure there's like a 100% reason why I have not done this thing. Like, why I haven't gone down deeper. Uh, we've got that thing, the dormant spore is forbidden. Over here at the shrine. I can remove these with clear terrain. Well, I am going to do that then. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of those candles as well. I don't want people going to the little death shrines. I don't want them worshipping Cthulhu right now. we got to worship whoever the hell this is. I think it's the Cog Lady or something like that is the name of their deity. The Lady of the Cogs or something. I, I don't remember specifically. But I know we have our own deity from the mother country. And we need to be loyal. We need to be loyal. What if they abandon us after this? Because you start worshipping weird tentacle monsters. Tentacle monsters aren't going to come through for you when you really, really need them to. They're going to abandon you and they're going to leave you behind. And I promise you that. Food is doing pretty well right now. Our farms are just like shitting out corn at the moment. Just non-stop. Just dropping corn bombs. Uh, we've got traders coming in, which is pretty good. Crispin Roller has taken up the study of genealogy. He's been pouring over his family tree. His family is extremely boring, and he must change this. Ah, well, poor Crispin. Alas, poor Crispin. So what's going on over here with our diplomatics stuff? The Republic is not super happy with us right now. A squad of Redcoats, Steam Knights. My assumption is that we're generating reputation with our own home country right now. I I'm actually going to try and get that up to, like, maximum before I fiddle with anybody else, just to make sure we got a little bit of leeway, and at least somebody supports us, like our own people support us, you know? Because if you don't have the support of the mother country, what do you actually have? Not a whole lot. That could be trouble for all of us. I don't know what it means when she gets a little light bulb above her head, but I assume it's a good thing. In the meantime, how are these buildings doing? So that one's at minus one. I would take that to believe that we would probably want to start dropping some nicer stuff inside. of There's a cow inside of our building. Okay. How do we fix this? One would assume that I could say naturalist job focus and then I can manually target to get rid of it. But up until that happens, we're kind of going to be stuck here. Ah, well, a soldier just kind of went inside, but then he walked away. He walked in. He saw the fact that there was an enormous steer inside the house and was just like, nah, just walked away. I like to imagine that as he walked through the door, he just, like, looked for a second. They both locked eyes. The cow was like, Mrr! and he was just like, nah, not tonight. It's like 2 in the morning, and I'm done. Not feeling this one. This plan seems like folly. This does not seem like a good idea. How much meat have I stacked up out of curiosity? We've got lots and lots of food, lots and lots of lacquer. It actually, to me, does not seem like there's that much going on. Whereas inside the Ministry of Trade, what did they bring over? So they brought over pretty much worthless stuff that I'm not super interested in. I, I do wish that the game had some kind of currency so that you could sell stuff and then just have coins for later. Like some kind of paper coinage. I understand the barter and trade system has its... Uh, ooh, a beautiful day. Good. That means we'll have super awesome harvest today. I understand the game's trying to do like its barter and trade system on the frontier type deal. But... All of us are from civilized countries. We're all from places that have established governments. I see no reason why we can't trade coinage that has actual value. Traders are leaving the depot. That's fine. They can take off. I'm not concerned about it. And then right here, this should be full now. I am going to write a glowing report, please. 
We can use all the reputation that we can. We got a result of 31. Okay. So we're moving on up. I, I would like this to be firmly in the green. And then what we'll do after that is we'll start working on von Stallmark. Uh, so that our German neighbors will be happy with us. Essentially, we'll work our way around the horn, making sure that every faction likes us and we don't get ourselves into too much trouble. We had a delivery of iron cogs, a gift from the church. The church has heard of the construction of our first chapel in this fair colony has sent a supply drop of votive iron cogs for use in services. This should allow our colonists to access the proper rights for a while, but we'll need to create our own votive iron cogs in the metalworks from now on. Oh, good. Finally, a chapel. The worshippers bless you for your assistance in making the colonies a holier place. The colonists are pleased. I'm glad to see it. That's perfectly fine by me. Let's go ahead and we're going to go into our modules menu. And then we're going to take a look for our chapel. We needed to slap a door up in here. So slap a door we shall. I'm not like totally sure where I want to put the door. We'll put it in right there. And this is a very, very small chapel. This is not a chapel that's going to be worthy of note in the history books, but later on we'll build ourselves a bigger, better, better one. Bigger, better, better, build that church, it's awesome, because we worship. Okay, so... Gravestones, those are all looking good. I do wish I knew how to destroy this graveyard, because I positively hate the fact that it's offset by one. I keep looking at it, and it makes me upset. Every single time my eye line goes over there, I'm just like, yeah, that's a little upsetting. I don't like that very much. But then again, it's like I can fiddle around on camera or off camera for 35 minutes looking for a way to delete a field, or we can just move forward with our lives, you know? And what are you researching? He was in here... Ah. He was in here working on... I think I wanted him to have wheat transplanting, actually. Did I have any extra... Let me see my overseer management here. I don't have any workers. So that's unfortunately going to... We got to wait till we get some more workers before we can have some more scientists. I would suggest that we swing over to here, and like always, how many... I've only got a little bit of bric-a-brac left. I would suggest then that we just start working on bric-a-brac for a little while. Maybe 20 bric-a-brac, or maybe like 25. I wouldn't say to maintain it, because that just doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful. But we'll just have somebody mash out bric-a-brac for a while because I'm willing to bet we're probably full up on planks at the moment. We got 15. Nothing in there. Eight right there. Oh, maybe we're not. Maybe we have very, very few planks. Uh, cookery, what are you doing right now? You guys are just doing your thing over here. Building qualities at minus one. We should probably get a metalworks up and running. How many overseers do I have that are doing, like, nothing right now? They're just doing general purpose work. So we got one guy clearing terrain. Got somebody foraging. We got another. Oh, we actually have quite a few overseers that are doing like nothing right now. So technically, we could probably get away with building our metalworking shop. I'll probably just keep it moving down this street right here. Although it looks like we may have some terrain that we need to flatten. So. Yeah, we do, in fact. So let's go ahead and flatten all that terrain out right there. It'll be a big project, but once they get it done, I think it'll be worth it. In addition. I'll have somebody mine that out too so that we don't have stones in the middle of our street. I don't think there are stones, or I don't think there are streets actually in the game yet? I don't really know too much about that. It does not appear to be the case though. Go ahead and give me another worker's house over here. This one will be a little bit larger. It's just a project to work on. It's nothing super important. But it guarantees that we'll get more refugees and more people moving in. Put a window right there, put a window right there so that that's automatically accomplished. And then we'll have them drop like, oh, I don't know. That seems good to me. Then what we'll do is we'll take this. And I don't even know how many extras we have right now of these, but just trying to get this place outfitted. I would like to make some rugs and some other sundries, some things that I can put on the floor so that we're not wasting tons of space. But up until we get that sorted, do we have any shrines left either? We don't have any shrines. So yeah, it's probably a good idea now that we've got this bric-a-brac working on. Yeah, we've already made five out of the 35 bric-a-brac, so it's probably a really good plan that we've already got that moving. When we look at the church, does it look any different? 
Oh, it looks the same. I was hoping it would have like a steeple or something on top of it. As far as modules go for the church, what can we put in? I assume there's probably like altars. There's probably... Okay. So we've got a wooden altar right here. Let's do a little alteration. So there's that. Uh, we have a ton of these, as I recall. So we'll drop those in right there. We can't put them outside the building, unfortunately. Wish that we could, but we can't. So we'll drop those right there. And then if there's pews, we'll start putting in pews in a little bit. Uh, I grew up in the church. That's actually, my family was super religious, like hardcore religious. Like to the point where like I, I was actually homeschooled for most of my life because my parents didn't want like secular influence and all that kind of stuff. And then actually once they sent me to real like public high school and whatnot, I actually flourished there. I actually, I liked that quite a bit more. Pursue the whispers. Livaweta Sharp has seemed troubled lately and finally discusses the subject haltingly. The workbench, it speaks to me. Not in any language I know, but I understand the words. It is telling me to do well, things to collect certain ingredients to produce a great work. Um. If only we had a vicar to advise the colony. Oh yeah, I didn't make anybody a vicar yet. Um. Sure, make a thing? I guess we'll find out. I'm sure it's gonna be one of those dwarf fortress moments where she builds something absolutely abominable. So how many lacquer planks do we have? We got two lacquer planks. Okay. So for the wooden altar, ah, good. That's what I was hoping is that it would actually be from the workbench, not from the decor workbench. I assumed as much because it had to be functional. So we will assign a overseer. And what is the principal skill that goes into this? The associated skill, it actually doesn't appear to really matter. Beatrice will be our new, will be our new vicar. Livaweta Sharp stood for a moment holding the product of the so-called great work. She looked somehow at peace for a moment as if a great burden was lifted from her shoulders, then confused. Why am I holding this thing? What day is it? Livaweta Sharp seems to have no idea what came over her. She cackles inhumanly. Let the great work commence. My tools, where are my tools? Tell me. Tell me of the design plot. Yes, and a bushel of ah, it all makes sense now. So where did she go? Does it say what she made anywhere? I'm not sure what she made. Where is Livewood a sharp? Livewood a sharp, I think, is the lady who runs our ah, there she is. There's a dead guy over there, but also what did she build? What did she build? And where'd it go? I guess for now we don't know. Huh. We should probably spruce this place up a little bit too, make it look a little bit nicer, but until the bric-a-brac's done, it's kind of one of those tasks where it's like, eh, I'm not going to concern myself with it just yet. They're making the altar for our church so that our vicar can finally go in there. Does our vicar get any kind of, like, interesting outfit from being a vicar? Beatrice Cog, where are I mean, her last name is Cog, so we've got ecumenism. Clockworkian ecumenism involves avoiding strong opinions while awkwardly apologizing whenever controversy arises. Its pleasing platitudes lack focus but are considered com comforting by all sorts. The unreformed Episcopal deists are hierarchical disciplines set that praise the virtue of physical suffering and the rational ordering of creation. Their fatalistic authoritarian creed is very popular in military camps. The muscular ecclesiasticists promote hard labor and attention to detail as devotional acts to the creator. Their monologues stir overseers to hone their craft, but take a toll on the mind. And then mechanism. The pedestrian, the predestinational mechan mechanist sect espouses the virtues of the pursuit of rational knowledge and intrigues itself evident nobility, which results from having already been noble. Their recitations assure diplomats, scientists, and upper class that their superior is only possible to the logical result of the first conditions of creation. Okay, we'll leave it on ecumenism for now. 
Also, do I have to build pews or anything in here? Or is it just chairs? Or like, what goes inside? A simple chair goes inside of there. Okay. Simple chairs inside of there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Strange artifacts have been discovered. Digging in and day out is enough to numb anybody's mind, but Eloise Pipecotter feels something different today, a buzzing in the back of her skull that defies explanation. With a sudden fury, she strikes at the rock. The buzz grows louder. Something is there, calling out with a voice that is no voice. The sound is intense now, deafening, and then with the final strike, silence. The rebel falls away to reveal a strange object covered in symbols. Eloise Pipecotter has never seen its like before, yet it feels comforting. An unfamiliar grin comes to her face. The symbols. It is time. So was she in the mine? Is that where she was? I, if their name could actually be highlighted and then you could click on them to figure out where something was at, I would very much prefer that. Damage resistant. I think that's just for the stone she's carrying though. A strange artifact was discovered by Eloise Pipecotter. It looked like a stone block to me. Maybe she left it behind? I don't know. We don't have any beds, we don't have any of that stuff, but our diplomacy building's good to go. We can get a skilled arm artisan. Uh, no, we're just gonna write an honest assessment. So we've gone up to 36. We actually got the full five from that one. At least we should have. There we go. Moving on into the green, and that'll refill pretty rapidly. And so tomorrow we'll get a new diplomatic action where we can go through and try to... Try to keep our reputation with our home country very, very high. So they're trying to go through the stone right now. Sounds good to me. As far as the bric-a-brac goes, it's not quite there yet, but they'll finish it off at some point. Inside of this building, what are we working on? A brick, we've got glass panes being worked on, buckets of ink, and stone pellet ammo. Go ahead and make me some more ammo. Just make a couple stacks of that shit, because I know we've got tons and tons of stone sitting around now, and I don't think there's any reason to worry about it. A gang known as Leola's Merry Borrowers, which consists of five bandits, has been sighted setting up camp nearby. Cheeky troublemakers are probably up to no good. We should probably... Oh, but we have an understanding. Okay. Normally, they tend to get killed off by Elder Tours anyways. So making friends with the bandits appears to have been the right call. Resisting them did not work out. Like, they came in, they came in and they stormed in like an unholy righteous fury and just wiped us out. That's why I had to reload a save and then go back and make friends with them. Making friends with them seems to work a lot better because then they also act as a first buffer because they tend to, like, settle near your city. When they do that... The Eldritch Horrors spawn out here too, and so they tend to have to fight the bandits first and it softens them up before they get to your city. <laughs> and so it's not actually a terrible plan. It's not the worst plan I've ever seen. Got some cogs over there. We don't have an altar on this side, but we will very, very soon. I... At the barber shop, we need medical supplies and we need sulfur tonics. With the lacquer planks... Really, just planks become medical supplies, huh? Alright. Yeah, make me some medical supplies then. Sounds good to me. As far as our science goes, how close are we to maxing this out? Alcohol distillation seems like a good thing to get after, but I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. And as soon as our decor is done, we can start actually making these houses a little nicer. This guy needs to be renovated, or retrofitted right here. That looks okay. That looks okay. That one's in good shape. That one is not, and this one is most assuredly not. That one's all right. We also need to focus on that one also needs like another bureau or something. That one's at plus six because it has one of those magical paintings inside of it. These guys are at plus one. Uh, for the most part, it looks like we've decorated appropriately. Like I, I feel like we're in okay shape. Uh, diplomatic points are ready to go yet again. So let's open this up. I'm going to write letters of praise. And so with letters of praise, we've now increased our reputation to 56 with the home country. And I think that should put us well within, like, friendly areas. And so hopefully we'll see some passing benefit of that very, very soon. Wow, these people are all in here trying to get some counsel. Wow. 
Wow. Apparently, I have been neglecting the religious needs of my people horribly. Can nobody fit inside that right there? A stack of bricks is just sitting there. Can I get them to haul that? I can just take it elsewhere. Like, I think they probably have a lot of jobs and stuff to do, but... I would prefer it if we could get that out of the way. Our disturbance is at 222. We may have to build another mine. So we've got gold over here. We've got zinc over here. The lab needs supplies. What are they out of? They need science materials. I think that was from over here. Yeah, it was, but we needed glass paint. Or no, we needed glass bottles in order to make that work. Go ahead and make glass bottles, please. I don't know if we have... Just make a bunch of those, because we're going to need the science supplies anyways. What is that? Dynamite? A keg of gunpowder. Okay, that's what I figured. The pandering and loathsome foreign minister of the Gross Herzogatum von Stallmark has publicly insulted the Clockwork Empire at a diplomatic conference being held on neutral ground of the Alpine Confederation. Our relations have been damaged. Okay. I, I'm not that worried about it right now. We'll, we'll handle that as it comes up. Leave our glass panes right there. As soon as they move these bricks out of the way, I do wish there was a haul action I could tell them to make. Like to go haul a thing like right now. We also got fortifications we could technically be building. Hmm, I'll think about it. We've also got traders coming in. But they tend to get stomped out rather quickly. If they walk through areas where there's lots of bad guys. I will buy their planks, by the way. I'm going to buy their planks in a heartbeat. Uh, it's a great way to keep ourselves stocked up. As far as modules go, we've got a lot of people that are working inside the carpentry workshop. I would like to make it a little bit nicer in there so that they don't hate it quite so much. They've got exterior lamps. I think that's a decent idea. We've got plinths. Lower class rugs are probably a good idea, too. However, it says that's made in the carpentry workshop, but in my experience, I actually have not seen... Yeah, I haven't seen much with regards to... I think it must be an unlock or something from our researcher. Is the barber in? Stanley Smith needs medical treatment, but could not find a barber. That is because we don't have a lot of medical supplies. Sulfur tonic made in the chemical works. Do I have a chemical works? I do. How do I make sulfur tonic? We've got bottles of laudanum. Although that seems like a bad plan. Bottles of laudanum. Laudanum is a pretty hardcore opiate. If you don't know what laudanum is, it's pretty brutal. It's uh, it's the kind of stuff you would expect them to give you for a headache back in the 1800s. It's just, it, that's actually one of the things that Edgar Allan Poe was addicted to. It was laudanum, and uh, he was addicted to laudanum and something else. And that was part of the reason he was able to write such ridiculous stories. Not ridiculous, but actually like horrifying stories because he, uh, he suffered from all kinds of maladies when it came to addiction. I mean, this is a time period, though. If you're looking at this time period, this is back when they used to give you cocaine when you got a cold and stuff like that. Like, medical science was at an interesting point. Essentially, everything in Victorian times had cocaine in it because they thought it was like a miracle drug back then. They didn't realize it had addictive properties and whatnot. Uh, I think we're just about out of time for right now. I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes and see if I can get those planks finished off. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Clockwork Empires. It's been a lot of fun so far. And I'm looking forward to playing the game with you more in the future. I did want to go on record. The sponsorship for this game was only for two episodes. And so you guys have gotten like a ton of episodes out now just because I'm having fun with it. Like I, I find the game to be enjoyable. And so I haven't like bailed out or anything like that. But I am looking forward to doing more episodes with everybody. Um, I will see you all in the next episode. I do. And I'll see you next time.